Hello, welcome. Today, making a trip through a wildlife management area, heading toward the Pine Ridge Trail. I heard that this is possibly part of the Great Plains Trail, that is a through trail. So I thought I would uh, give it a whirl. So far, I'm on a two lane road. It's not bad walking. But uh, I'm going to dart through this area here and head up into Pine Ridge C and then also connect into B and A. I am doing it backwards. But it doesn't matter which way you go about this. Uh, I'm going to get as far as I can tonight. Got off work. Now I'm going to head up, put my tent up, stay the night. It's supposed to be nice tonight and tomorrow, and then it's going to turn out and hopefully snow and rain. Yeehaw. But I want to get this section done here. So it's kind of a neat little place to be and uh, more to come. Well, it has been a little over a mile. It's still uphill. I haven't flattened out at all. I think I got a ways to go. And then it's gonna be on top for a little bit, probably in a burned area, I would imagine. And then from there, it will be uh, back down and then back up. Nebraska is not flat. At least the whole thing isn't flat. This is quite the uh, little trail. Ponderosa Wildlife Management Area. Not bad. I like it. So at the three mile mark, there's a road forked off to the right. Don't go that way. Stay to the left, stay on top of this ridge. Keep going. From here, it's pretty much all downhill to the beginning where I parked. So not a bad walk if you're going the other direction. Not going this way. All been uphill. So I have one lone pole that I think is my marker but there's not supposed to be any markers in the wilderness area so I'm not sure so it's going to take me a minute but I do know that I do have to go that way down toward that canyon and I got to go around it because there's some private property down there and you have to go around that private property So this trail is not marked. I'm still on the two track up on top. At some point I need to go down over the, over the hill. So I'm going to walk this road for a little bit further and look for something that might be kind of going the direction I need it to go in. because there's really nothing marked that I have. There might be out there. I just haven't found it. So we'll just continue heading this direction until I find a spot to go where I need to go. After traversing all the way down there, to verify that that pole that I seen back there was 
the right pole. It, in fact, is, I think, still. But as I was looking across on the other ridge line, way over there, you can see this ridge line right through here. That ridge line, there's a white marked pole. So I'm gonna go back up to this and I'm gonna work my way down this to where I know where that is. Marked trails would be really nice, but in a wildlife management area, they don't really want to do stuff like that because it's a wildlife management area. But we'll make our way back down there. We're back on track. It's starting to uh, kind of get a little dark on me. And yeah, I still got some light left. I got a long ways to go and a short time to get there. It's five, five o'clock. Left the road, heading in the right direction again, back on track. I hate it when that happens. I lose the trail for a second and you end up a half a mile away. But we're gonna work our way down this and uh, head toward that marker that I seen down there. So we are uh, cutting cross country. This is my kind of hiking right here. Wow. This is a hidden gem. There's a sign coming up. I see more markers. We must be good to go. We're gonna drop down into that valley and then back up the other side. Tomorrow will be as far as those trees. I think we're gonna do it. Well, if you're coming up this side, get up to the top up there, hang a right, head toward the road. And it'll be a two lane all the way back to the Ponderosa Wildlife Management Area section. From there, you can take off, for, head toward Chadron. Or if you're coming the way I'm coming, we're gonna continue on to West Ash Road. Uh, hike the road all the way down and uh, from there, and then stay in the campground, possibly if I have enough time. Coming down in these areas, you always gotta watch out. You never know what's over the bank. So don't just go running up to the edge. It's probably a sheer cliff. So you can see back here, um, there's some logs that are laid in the path. I would bet money that right over there is a sheer cliff. And that's why these logs are directing us away from that direction because it's gonna be bad. There's really no trail. This trail has not been traveled very much at all. to do is come over to this bank and look back and show you why. Yep. We would have walked right off of that.
is what you're going to climb all the way up to the knob on the left is where the first sign was and now I'm going to climb out a lot of uh, rugged go up go down in this territory This is steep. Straight down, straight back up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but down there, there's probably 20, 30 turkeys. It's all private down there. We're just going to pass through. We're going to actually end up on the other side over there. No hunting those turkeys. Well, I am not going to pass up any water around this place. So I'm going to fill my jugs up. Got a ways yet to go. I head back that direction to the road. I wish I could go straight across because straight that way is the campground that I'm going to stay at, but it's straight up. I'm not going straight up. We will go around. Make sure that if you're heading up this, going over to the other side, this is your only water stop. Fill up. There's plenty of spots going this direction for water, but not that way. Almost there, getting closer. All right, well, I made it. Pine Ridge Tail saying, uh, 2.7 to the Ponderosa. I don't know. I walked a little bit extra, but I clocked seven miles, but I did go out of my way looking for the trail because it is unmarked in the Ponderosa Wildlife Management Area. Not marked. Now, you take the road here for a mile and a half to connect to Pine Ridge. I am going to walk the road because there's a campground right down the road little bit of a walk. Let's get moving. Hey there, made it in finally. Uh, it looks like about nine miles in the books today. Pretty steep, pretty rugged. But if you enjoyed that part of the trip, hit the subscribe button and more to come.